Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. And we got a lot to discuss. It was reported by Paola Board and Chark Data that Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 has surpassed Scarlet as the biggest U.S. on-demand streaming album debut by a female rapper in 2023. With only two days of tracking. It says three here, but it's actually supposed to be two days, okay? Um, Scarlett did 88.35 mil in streaming for two days. And Nicki Minaj did 90.8 mil. So congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Also congratulations to Doja. That's not bad. 88.35 mil is not bad at all, okay? Um, especially since Scarlett wasn't that great of an album. Nikki has hits on this album. After Agora Hills, who knows what Doja can push on that album because it was a mess. No shade. Now, moving on from that, Nicki Minaj liked a tweet on Twitter um, that says, Republic is sabotaging Nikki again. What is their goal in this? Why don't other artists have problems releasing additional album versions? But when it comes to Nikki, there's always some issue. What the F? at Republic, okay? Nikki also tweeted um, when a fan was asking, like, why don't they put out, like, the different versions of the album and um, vinyls on different platforms like they do with the Chart Obsessed Races. And Nicki Minaj said they can do this at any time, have no idea why they're not. I told them y'all don't care if it's new songs um, told them it's about the limited edition cover. So stop tweeting me about it. Tweet them. And this is why I said yesterday for y'all to tell Republic that Nicki Minaj needs radio. I mean, Nicki should not be moving like an independent artist. She's not independent. She been with Republic for years now. When she was with Young Money, um, you know, she was still under Republic because Young Money was under Republic. So it just doesn't make any sense why, you know, they can give Champagne Thickums and his trash records all the payola that he wants. And the Chart Obsessed Races can put out a hundred different um, types of albums. OK, but Nicki Minaj can't do that. It just don't make sense. And so Nicki has to do extra work and put out different um, singles every day this week to put out the different versions which is kind of a chess move in a sense. Now, with that being said, fans are also calling out Ice, okay? No Spice, y'all, princess. Um, Because um, fans noticed that Ice didn't publicly, well, she didn't post Nicki Minaj on her birthday, okay? I think she commented happy birthday. I don't follow Ice Spice, so I can't verify that. But I believe that she commented happy birthday on December 8th. She made a big post to the Chart Obsessed Racers, and a lot of the barbs are calling her out on it. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Well, here's the thing. Ice Spice already got her feature. She got two features from Nicki Minaj. Um, she probably doesn't feel like she has to do all that extra work, like posting Nicki, wishing her happy birthday, because she probably commented happy birthday. How comes you guys don't call out Champagne Thickums? You know, no shade. He didn't post anything. He didn't even post the album. And he was on it. But he posted L Little Yachty. Okay, why don't you call out the snake? Moving on to Scarlet by Doja Cat. It was the most illegal downloaded album of 2023. <laughs> My goodness, this is embarrassing. Now, the kitty litters. Y'all got to come to the front of the congregation because I know it was y'all that did that. They be bragging about Doja Cat stats, but why don't y'all brag about this? Because she only did 6K in per sale. So that means people did not want to buy her album. They was illegally downloading it even during the streaming era. <laughs> They did not want to buy that shit. <laughs> 6K in per sales. You know, honestly, this is sabotage. You know, we should not be laughing at Doja. Y'all wrong for laughing. Um, because this is wrong to illegally download somebody's album and then 
only give them 6K in per sale. It's like, y'all wrong for that. How is Doja going to pay the label? Come on now. Stop it. Y'all wrong for that. She didn't even do 100K first week. I think Doja Cat should sue some of the kitty litters, okay? Um, Because they did something that's illegal. You can't illegally download a song. And and the thing is, y'all be bragging about her stats. Why you got to illegally download an album, okay, if she the top bitch? She clearly not. The song and albums were trash, and that's why y'all illegally downloaded it. And that's sad that y'all let her get 6K in per sales. If I was Doja Cat, the kitty litters, I'll be seeing them in court. Now, moving on from that, Cardi B goes off in Off The Cheat's DMs. So it was reported that Off The Cheat was spotted with a young, beautiful female at an event. Um, and blogs started posting it. Off The Cheat goes off in a blogger's DMs, allegedly, um, and says it's a lie. But this kind of sounds like Cardi B. I think it was Cardi B that was in Off the Cheats DMs, okay? Um, the DM said, you a dirty hoe, stop playing with me. IDK this hoe, you posting suck my D. You a dirty B word trying to fake it out. Knowing IDK this hoe, okay, I don't know what that means. I don't know this B word, you crazy. She spoke to me, you a clout chaser. And then I saw some other DMs where he said he was going to sue. And that is Botch and Bitter's routine to sue a blog when they're posting a narrative she don't like. So let me know if you guys believe that Off the Cheat has something going on with this young lady. Um, I believe that this is still all PR. Um, I don't know if I fully believe that Off the Cheat would just step out with somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? Um... I feel like he would at least wait a couple months. I mean, she just announced the breakup. So to me, this is definitely PR. But he claims that he don't know this lady. And I believe that um, this is all a setup. No shade. Now, Scratch Off has new music coming, I think, this Friday called The Grinch Freestyle with high schooler LaTyla. Okay? Maybe he's a dropout. I don't know. Um, but she got a new freestyle coming out this Friday. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, who asked for a scratch off on um, freestyle? I mean, I, th- I think that she should just retire and be 21 averages third baby mama oh, and call it a day. Moving on to Queen B. Unfortunately, you know, I love Queen B as you guys know, but unfortunately I have to give her donkey of the day for releasing grown women on streaming platforms because of the 10th anniversary of her best album, Beyonce, which came out um, 10 years ago in 2013. One of her best albums, honestly. The music videos were great. The songs were great. Um, I think Queen B, I wish she would go back to that era or the Sasha Fierce era. But with that being said, I just don't think it was necessary for her not to have grown women on streaming platforms. I could have sworn that it was already on streaming platforms. But anyway, whether it wasn't or if it was, the point of the matter is the fact that she's putting it out or doing a re-release for the 10th anniversary, that is just dramatic in my opinion. Nobody cares about grown women 10 years later. Y'all didn't even support my basement. That debuted at number 57 on the Paola Hot 100, okay? Um, And she had it being in one of the biggest films of 2023, the Renaissance film. Well, I wouldn't say biggest because it's not doing so well at the box office. But the point of the matter is... Queen B, instead of interacting with her fans, she is a money-hungry person. Like, of course, she's going to give the beehive something else that, you know, she wants them to buy or stream to put more money in her pocket. She needs to be doing a giveaway. Now, it was reported that, you know, her net worth is $800 million now. It should be more than that. Queen B is lying. She is a billionaire. You made 500 million off this tour. And you only added 300 milli to your net worth. That doesn't make any sense. Okay? Um, her net worth prior to the $800 million was like, what, 500 milli or $400 million? Okay? 
but she be slick with it. She be faking like she's not a billionaire. I don't know why she just won't come out and admit it. I guess she wants to be looked at as the underdog. I guess so, because it just don't make sense. Or maybe she's trying to hide some money from Camel Face. Mmm, interesting. Now, moving on to Megan, the pass around and gaslighter. She goes off on social media because, one, um, the driver made a testimony. Tory Lane's driver made a testimony um, stating that he saw Kelsey with the gun. And then on top of that, she's upset that Partisan Fontaine is doing interviews talking about how she dissed him in Cobra, even though she claimed she didn't diss him in Cobra. Like every time I take a step forward to heal and do something different... Motherfuckers be like, no, come on. You're not supposed to still be getting deals. You're not supposed to be in movies. You're not supposed to be recording albums. You're supposed to be sad where you was with me two, three years ago. When I got in a relationship, all that shit was deleted. I was sat the fuck down. I was sad. I was seated. I was very much happy where I was at. If if this if this man is saying, I didn't cheat on her. I didn't do that. Well, why the fuck is you responding to me? Do you know how many niggas y'all claim I done fucked with? Why are you answering? Why are you trying to make that shoe fit? What's that wasn't true? Why the hell is you dissing me? Like, what the fuck is going on? What? See, this is one of the reasons why I don't mess with Megan Thee Stallion. This is what I'll be talking about, gaslighting. Megan, yes, you've been with a lot of men, but you were only claimed publicly by two. Okay? Money bag and party. Tori, Trey, Blueface, and those other men that you smashed, the baby, all of them never claimed you. It was only money bag and Parson Fontaine that claimed you. Okay, that you was in a public relationship with. Moneybag has been with Ari for the past four years. You just recently broke up with Partisan Fontaine. So, of course, everybody is going to think that it's Partisan Fontaine. And you knew that. It don't matter if you mentioned a name or not. You knew who people were going to think it was about. And he said that you were lying and you're mad that you're being called out. And this is why you got to watch out for women like Megan Thee Stallion. Megan is the type of person... That will stab you in your back and ask why you're bleeding. Okay? She's a certified gaslighter. I'm like, stop acting like you was getting claimed by all these dudes. You only got claimed by two. Everybody else hit it and quit it. Okay, Megan, the pass around the opportunist. Moving on from that, Nicki Minaj has broke Kai Sinat's live stream viewership record with over 355,000 viewers that tuned in to their stream. Um, Nicki Minaj looked amazing. She looked vibrant. She was late. She was late, but she looked amazing. Okay. It was definitely entertaining. And Nicki looked like she was in her element. Okay. Just trying to have fun. She was dancing. Um, she was, you know, joking around with Kai. Um, so that's what I like to see. And then also SZA has shown love to Nicki Minaj. She liked Eric and Tay's um recent photo of Nikki where they were rapping to FTCU okay and um I think SZA and Nikki need to collaborate I be trying to tell you SZA does not have an issue with Nikki Minaj okay do I think she's a barb no but she don't really have an issue with Nikki like that okay I would love for them to collaborate in 2024 let me know how you guys feel about it. I got some hot tea on Patreon link will be in the description I will see you guys in the next video and have a great day